everyone, it's science time. But before we start our science experiment today, we need to talk about water does the body good and what it's all about. So did you know that most of your body is made up of water? Water is important to your body and it keeps your body healthy. If you don't have water, I wonder what would happen. Let's find out. When your, your body loses water during the day, it loses water when you breathe and eat and sweat and cry, and even when you go to the bathroom, unbelievable. And guess what? When we exercise with our group Google Meets, we sweat and we lose water. We should always drink water after or during the time that we're working out because we don't, our body doesn't like to lose water. So it's important to replace the water that your body loses. This keeps your body healthy. How will you know if you need more water? Your body will show signs that it needs water. Your mouth and your lips will feel dry. So my mouth and my lips, sometimes you put chapstick on your lips because they get all dry. Well, you might want to drink some water. That might help it better. All right, and then you will be thirsty and you should drink water when you are thirsty. Don't drink pop because that's not gonna help you, but water will. There are other signs that you need water too. You may have a headache. Have you ever had a headache and didn't know why? It could be because you don't have enough water in you. You might feel dizzy or your muscles might hurt even your heart will beat faster sometimes. That's telling you that you need more water and to drink some water. How can you help your body? Keep a water bottle with you. Drink when you're thirsty and drink with every meal and with every snack. So today we're gonna learn about water and that's what most of our body is made up of and it helps us stay healthy, helps our Muscles not to ache, helps us not headaches. So today we've learned that our body needs water. Our experiment is going to be about water. <laughs> We're going to use beads of water. And what do we already know? We already know that our bodies are made up of mostly water, that our bodies lose water throughout the day, and that our bodies change when they need more water. So today we're going to use some water beads, cups, water, and a marker to see what will happen to our water beads. Hmm, what will happen to the water beads without water? I don't know. Let's start. Do you think the beads will get bigger? The beads will get smaller or the beads will stay the same. I don't know. Let's think about that. So first we want to write water on our cup. Okay. So on a piece of tape, I'm gonna write water, and put it on my cup. Water, W-A-T-E-R. I'm gonna put that on my cup that has water in it. Okay, so let's take another piece of tape and write without water, or no water. You can write no water, that's what it says. So, I have my cup with no water, and my cup with water. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen to my beads. Let's see, it says here, to fill up my cup halfway full, I did. 
Then it says to put 10 water beads into the water cup. Now, I wonder what's gonna happen to our water beads. I have them right here. I think I am gonna choose, I have different colors, which is kind of neat. I'm going to choose blue. Right here. I'm gonna get my handy dandy scissors and cut it. Open. So watch, it said 10 beads. Wow, that came out fast. They're everywhere. So I have the beads. I put some beads in this because they're so, they're going everywhere, but you guys are really, look at how they just kind of move everywhere. Can you see how small they look? They are really small and they go everywhere. So I'm gonna try to corral them into my cup and my, um, It says to put 10 water beads in each one to see what would happen. I wonder what's going to happen to my water beads if I put them in no water. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So they have no water. Now I'm going to put 10 in here, into the water. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I did both of those and we're gonna go to the next. Observe the beads in both cups. Record your observation. Let the beads sit overnight and observe the beads in both cups. Record your observation. So day one, which is today, the no water so far isn't changing. These aren't changing yet either, but it's only been a couple minutes. So we're gonna come back. Hi everyone, I'm back. It's been a day and yesterday we had some water beads that were really really small sorry really small with no water then we had a cup with water and I put the beads in there can you see how much bigger they are watch the kids today or yesterday that was we're at school they did it also. Look at how big theirs are compared to these little ones. Let me get a couple out here for you. So just like our body changes when we don't have water in it, it gets dry and our tongue um, is dry and we need, our skin gets dry, we get headaches. Our body needs water. So do these water, these water beads, because look at how small they are right here. And now compare them. Look how much bigger they are. So I've got this little one right here. Look at, that's a huge difference, isn't it? Water really helps these beads out to get big the way they should be. So our, what we've learned is that our bodies really need water. So on day one, the in the um, I'm sorry, the beads that had no water, they they were small, and they stayed the same. And the ones that had water, they got bigger, and they even got bigger the second day. But did the beads stay the same that had no water? Yeah, they sure did. So what happened to water beads without water? The ones without water, they had to stay the same, right? The ones that got water. The water beads got bigger. The water beads got bigger. So 
lesson for our science this month is all about water and how our bodies need water to stay healthy and fit. You should have about eight glasses of water a day. Have a great day. Bye-bye.